Hey everyone, welcome back to the Millennial Men channel. I'm Josh. I'm Noah. Well, we're back with RM's Awakening. Awakening. Yeah. <laughs> we have the uh, lyrics on our phones this time. We're yeah. going to give this a go because usually it's uh, pretty hard to. As you guys know, keep we track. use the TV now and putting the lyrics on the TV with the. With the fucking video to the left of it, makes the video hella small, so it's kind of annoying to watch. So we're gonna try it this way instead. Hopefully it goes well. Yeah, and if it sucks, I'm sorry. We'll... <laughs> <laughs> we won't. But that's do it why again. we're looking down every once in a while. It's not because we're not paying attention. It's because we are paying attention. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do it. Do it. <laughs> Tell me that I can't survive in this cold world. Just feel my vibe. I know one day at a time. Damn, what is that? On fire. I too many friends. You know that I did lost too many clans. Being a single. Yo, it's in English. There's a, there's a few lines. Oh, a few lines yeah. are in English. Okay. Hey, fuck. He, throws his <laughs> he looks so young here. Yeah, he I know. does. I was like looking at it. I was like, this is not like RM at all. But it, it sounds like a Kanye West beat with the with the, the background, the, 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 the vocals. And you the said background. Cold World. I was like, J. Cole. <laughs> J. Cole. I lost too many friends. You know that I did lost too many clans. Being a singer, I lost too many bands. I couldn't help but spit a spit. Kept it with pity too many days. Gonna let my eyes watch too many Oh, oh hold on. Hold on. Actually, pause. That thing that um is on fire, it looks like the band. I went around his face. Yeah. He was putting on. Oh wow! That's I think cool. it also might be in English. You so might... far, this this uh, this whole verse thing has been, been in English, right? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll... I have it. Oh, And the visuals are really cool. Yeah, this is a very short song, but I'm gonna kind of skim through. Damn. That was a cool cutaway. Give me vibes of that. Yeah. There were some. Right there were some raw yeah, there was emotion. Some, there was some yeah. Powerful ass words, especially in the first. Uh, I think it was the first. That we're uh, we're catching up. Hmm. I definitely think. Yeah, well, like one thing. Oh, go ahead. Said every night inside me, I quietly fight with myself. My heart pounds. My stab me in the back. While saying that, I become. A okay, so mm. so I'm having a. I feel like a lot of it is about him reborn, being reborn. Mm -hmm. He says this is him singing this song right here is his second birthday, meaning I would assume it's kind of interpreting it as like. Like he's he he's making himself as an artist. Like he's 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 becoming what he wants to become. Like establishing be basically himself. establishing himself, and that's that explains the bandages. He has to burn down his past self to yeah, be able yeah, to become yeah. his we'll new rise. self. Like, this is yeah. Like, this is kind of my interpretation off of mostly this like few lyrics right here. Is um, this is probably his first single after he joined BTS and left the rap scene. Mm. Um, because he said people saying it's like a sellout yeah my heart pounds my colleague stabbed me in the back all of his, oh, his, shit. his younger yeah. his friends from back in the day basically 
while saying that it became a more and after joining a company, joining a company would be joining B. Mm-hmm. Right? I think that was like a big part of this. And he's talking about like his word play is more like fucking war play. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like at this point, he can't even make a, a song without having his old friend talk smack about him and be like, oh, you sold out. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. I Very think, powerful. Yeah, I, I, I like I like the, because uh, it's like an overall pr- decently like basic or like straightforward video. But I think that makes him more powerful in terms of listening to the lyrics because like there's not really anything pulling you away other than the obviously the flames and the bandages. And it's almost as though he like when he was bandaging himself up, it was like, oh, I'm beginning to like lose myself covering his face and then he gets burned. But like you said, he like burns down and then uncovers himself and it's like boom, like born again. This is me. Like a yeah, Phoenix rising from the ashes. Yeah, kind exactly. Of thing. And I think what I was saying in the Kanye West vibe is um the the beat and the flow kind of reminded me at the end of Devil in a New Dress when Rick Ross starts rapping after mm-hmm. like they have the whole vocalization of Kanye then it kind of chills out and then Rick Ross comes and hits it again I think that's like what was going through my head yeah but, um, but it was very very good very powerful for sure hey did you see the fucking emotion in his face yeah like he was very good in this music video to like portray what he wanted these like lyrics to mean yeah and like how this was affecting him personally very yeah. personal song yeah, yeah. very personal like song. raw emotion yeah. it sounds like you, saw, you can see the pain yeah yeah in his which eyes. i love that yeah. i think it's amazing yeah no i think i think he definitely did a good job nice wow yeah, that was a good Power, great powerful. Good, good suggestion we would not have found this on our own so yeah thank to be you honest thank you powerful. Yeah. very powerful uh but besides that you guys know what to do go ahead and like comment subscribe hit that bell and thank you for stopping by the money man channel peace later